Day's been good. Uh, was really tired when I woke up this morning, but uh, got to class, worked on some emails, uh, uploaded last week's video, and now I'm working on physics. Just a topic, this topic I actually understand with torque equilibrium and such, though it looks, it looks really cool, complex, but I actually understand it. Nice. And the spin, so all is left is the dip. Gangster lean. Yay. All right, it's a good day outside. Hey, we're heading to a physics lab right now, which should be pretty fun. I'm actually really excited to watch the projectile because it worked really well last time. Hello. Meow. Yeah. Uh, David and I were working on our pre-lab before and the table we're plugging stuff into is pretty, it's going to be pretty intense. All right, uh, the physics lab with the trebuchet, did was pretty cool, it was fun launching. We ended up getting some sour gummy balls and launching those for projectiles too, which was fun. Um, and the last couple of takes, our nail, flew off too, so that was a setback. That was rather annoying. And then we have our information at the table, but we're getting numbers we can't really explain, and so we need to figure that out. Also, I have a I have a cold in my throat. David has a cold in his nose. Both of them came from Jared, who had a runny nose and a sore throat, which is kind of funny. But I been pretty tired. I'm trying to, it's 11 now, I'm going to try to get to bed so I can catch up on some sleep. Holy cow, I really want this internship. Um, I know my odds. <laughs> I, I, I probably won't get it because it's only... It's only one to four positions, and there were 65 applicants. But it's it's part of a biomedical team firm, and uh, the guy really liked how my resume and my cover uh, cover letter stood out. But it was it literally would be the MCD project where right? you have you we you have three months to create. An entire product from scratch. Uh, SolidWorks modeling, 3D printing, working with Arduino and the components in there. Uh, and like the first time they did it was last year. And uh, the guy, it was a single guy who did it last time, and the entire like engineering team there <laughs> helped him. <laughs> Helped him uh, design his components and parts and getting an actual uh, um, 
か、get an actual cap-、uh, and then like making their design. And in the end, after he went off, they actually have four different、um, uh, four different actual of his products on their staging floor and stuff. And、um, and I think it was actually really cool. I On the spot, thought of talking how、uh, and I think it like this a lot. When I went and got my foot scan for the custom orthotics, there was that medical.、Um, it was、uh, the device that scanned my foot, and I was interested in seeing how how it worked because it was a clear acrylic casing and seeing like, oh, I know how this component works and how this works with this here. And, I think it, it's really cool.、Um, all right, I'm heading to lunch. All right, I'm back motivated again.、Um, the,、uh, last night I tried to get to bed early, around 10:30, 11 ish. Wasn't able to fall asleep till 12, and then I woke up at 6 this morning, 6:20, and I'm not sure why.、Uh, but I just moseyed around in bed until 8, 8:30 ish, and I, it's now 11, and I've been working on Arduino ever since. I've gotten that. LCD display working for the most part right now. And moment of truth. Well, it worked. It worked. Woohoo!
Um, uh, we finished our physics draft presentation project thing, whatever. Finally got something that worked semi well, better than before, but still not amazing. Then there was a jazz concert, but I didn't have any solos, so I didn't really advertise it as much. Uh, I wasn't I. It was really sunny today, and I was really hot, and I just was. It was not nice. I mean, it was nice to look at today. It was not nice to feel. Especially super humid. Oh yeah, oh yes. Anyway, um, yep. So it was it was a choir, choir. I mean, uh, vocal accompany, accompanist, whatever. Uh, vocal charts that we were playing. So that was that was kind of cool. And then we had D&D &D tonight, which was pretty funny. <laughs> Again, we didn't get like hardly far at all in the plot, but it was good humored and fun. Uh, as long as they're having fun and like something is happening, I'm fine with cutting cutting plot from the storyline. Uh, so long as they get to the end. Um, uh, some some funny things that came up is that they tied up a doppelganger from the previous uh, from the previous event, but the doppelganger switched to a different personnel and had someone free him from the bonds, and then the whole time they were I was giving hints that this person wasn't there. What if the uh, Gary sibling wasn't? Acting weird, and then they like search their entire house and stuff. And then also, I had fun acting out the Stone of Galore, which is this abolith trapped in a stone, and <laughs> had it like answer questions through riddles that were uh, had a non inappropriate answer, but made you think that it was going to be inappropriate um and also it was just a funny little story arc kind of thing for that and then they found out then i texted sean uh when they were going to explore and stuff that the doppelganger tied him up and put him in a closet and was now acting as him so i had him i texted him to act uh suspicious and different and at the end of the session they figured out it wasn't him and there was a little fight and then they found him in the end but that was all cool uh, and then there was also a, a little fight between Tristan and Caswell or Gwen um, where they uh, where Gwen actually accidentally punched the uh, uh, Horse really hard and horse left, but and and they got back together. But what was funny was that Caswell sent a uh, paper bird writing an apology note to Horace, and then I asked Horace where he was and what's he doing, and then what happens when he gets the note, and he's like, they just says I can't read, and it was it was pretty funny. But yeah, it was a good session, one of my more favorite ones, and it's like twelve. 30. I'm pretty tired. Um, butt hurts a little bit, but it's all fine. Uh, turn, uh, we don't have a physics video, and then math project is tomorrow, but so I don't have to watch a math video. So, I've turned off my alarm, so hopefully I can sleep in a bit more. Oh, seriously? Oh, well, that sucks. What's up? Why are you hey. recording us? Nice day out today. Just got uh, worked on the code for a bit this morning. Physics was pretty fun. Uh, the 
just got done with math. No choir today, so it's going to be pretty relaxing, I think. Hey, hey. Were you the one who put the snails everywhere? Snails. What snails? I was thinking about it, and you knew off, an awful amount like where everything. Oh, there's some up there. There's some. They're all over the place. Who? I wonder who like would. The is kind of not very big of a secret to begin with because people probably printed them like two years ago. Oh, two years ago. Yeah, I always had to tell you to do this on April Fool's, but like. COVID. Yeah, one was COVID, one I don't know why I missed, but yeah. Oh. I forgot to record, but we we just played a couple games of Two Rooms and a Boom, which was fun. Uh, I won the first game and then lost the second two games. Um, oh. I actually don't remember if I won or lost the first game or not. That was fun, and then I asked if they wanted to play Werewolf, and we ended up playing Werewolf, which was fun. And then it's night, uh, midnight now. I'm tired, but guess what? I have almost 100% completed. Is the is the the setup right here? All the code. If I actually zoom up to the top. Anything that's not commented, uh, I wrote like yesterday and today, so that's all cool. Here's a whole bunch of new variables. All those right there are all new variables, and then this is all the same, but then all of this, all of this code up to right here was written, and then there's a couple. There's uh, this function right here and a bit of this function right here that were all written uh, new. So if I reset this, when it first turns on, there's that cool scroll effect and the open goes there. If I press the start button on one of them, it does a scroll again. And this is how many seconds are left. If you saw that second S right there, that's the one debug thing. I'm not sure what happens right now. I could like start the second one. Actually, these are the cue counters. So if I like add one to the washer and say two people are in waiting for the dryer, and I start this right here. And they both start their timers. And then after 20 seconds, I scroll over and actually show how many people are left in queue. And then scroll back. All of that is complicated code. And then like, the last thing to showcase it is if you hold a start button for three seconds, it restarts. Well, real cool. And I can press it again and it starts again. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Alright, we just... I don't think it's going to go that far. Uh, we just finished all our trials and now we're doing all the weight. Let's see how far it goes. What a hit! Oh, okay. So, this thing's going around where you go on people's computers. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is horrible. <laughs> you know for no, this. you know, you know, you're chickening out, David. It's not trusted. Alright, I'm not gonna download any viruses on the computer. Okay. I just got back from church, went to Fred Meyer for shopping, and the guy on the side of the street again, and I'm getting him some more food, which is always really fun. He's no longer there. I even, I even stopped and asked him if he wanted anything. He wanted a diet Dr. Pepper, but I guess it's started raining, raining a little bit, so he must have gone somewhere. Oh, that's sad.